Hi, this is Danny with Titan Technologies at MyDIYSecurity.com. And in this video, I'm going to go over the door and window contacts with you. There's several different contacts that you can order depending on your application. Uh, the first one I'm going to show you is the 5816. Uh, when you receive this device, it has adhesive in it, so you can stick it to the door. Uh, or you, it also comes with screws, so you can put the screws in and mount it. Uh, when you get the transmitter, all this is going to be pre-programmed for you. On the end of here, you depress this tab, and this transmitter folds open. Okay, when it folds open, there's a tab in the back of here. When you push that tab back, this back plate is going to slide off of this contact. That is going to be your mounting plate that you're going to use to mount this transmitter. When you put it back on, it puts on and snaps back down. Uh, when you get it on there, I, I like using the screws just because it's more secure. If you're in a place where you don't want to put holes in your door, the adhesive is real strong and it will work as well. Uh, when you line these up on this contact, I'm close this back up, you put the top on, and I hope you can see, get a good look at that. You just fold it down and it snaps back on that tab. When you line this up on the door, you'll have a magnet that comes with it. If you look on the side of this contact, you're going to see two little lines that mark where that magnet is supposed to go. There's a reed switch in there, and that's what, what recognizes when the door opens and closes. So when you line that up, on the door they're going to be lined up like that so when that door swings open you can mount you can mount the transmitter on the door side or you can mount it on the trim side either one you just want to make sure that these line up when that swings open when those separate that's what causes that contact to send a signal into the panel uh, another style that I like a lot for the the doors is the 5818 that contact it takes a little more work it's a little bit a little bit harder to put in uh, but it countersinks into the door so you can't see anything mounted to the door and i've got this door pre-drilled and i'm going to show you real quick uh, what you have to do to do that the contact itself takes a three-quarter inch hole what i use is a three-quarter inch spade bit and you're going to go into the jam and you have to deal drill that deep enough so that that contact will sink in there so you can see I'm just going to take this bit I've already drilled this one to get it ready for time sake but this bit you can see how far that that goes into the door so what I've done is I've just taken a cordless drill and drilled that three-quarter hole straight in that contact on the front of here the cover opens up that's where your transmitter and where the battery is going to be installed at you just take a little flathead screwdriver open the front of that up and this is going to be where the, the, con the battery goes into the contact you put your battery in there, positive and negative, and slide it back in. You just put this cover back on, take a little screwdriver, it just twists right back on. You're going to stick that in the door jam, and there are two little screws in the packet that come in there. You put a screw in the top, screw in the bottom. Once you get that installed, you're going to have to put the magnet in the door side. The magnet takes a 3-8 three, three inch regular drill bit. When you drill that 3 8 in this side of the door, that little magnet just inserts and you just push it so it's nice and flush. So when you close this door, that's going to be lined up with that contact. So when you put your magnet in there, what I like to do is I use my little screwdriver. I put the contact side in first. I take my screwdriver while I'm looking in there at it and I line it up and put a little mark on the door where that where that magnet needs to be. The other style is the 5820. It's a slimline model. It's a lot like the 5816, the first one I showed you. It has the two little marks on it where the magnet lines up. This one is really good for the windows because you can see it's a lot smaller. You can put that on one side of the window and then put the magnet on the opening side so when that window slides open it breaks that contact. And it just, you could take a screwdriver and put it in, into here. It has a little tab just like the 5816, and it folds open. You can put your battery in there. Uh, on the one other one I want to show you real quick, it's a fairly new product, and I know it looks real big. This is a gate contact. Um, if you're doing outside, you have a pool, and you want to you want to protect that gate, so if anybody opens that gate, uh, this contact will go on the gate. And it comes with all the hardware, uh, batteries, everything you need in all of these contacts. Um, so that's a quick look at the door contacts. 
Um, for more information, go to our website, mydiysecurity.com.